Ultrabeat is the drum machine of Logic Pro, so you will want to know how to use it. So we're going to do a full beginner's tutorial on Ultrabeat. It's going to be in three parts. Chapter 1 will be the sequencer of Ultrabeat. Chapter 2 will be everything to do with the sounds and synthesis of Ultrabeat. And Chapter 3 will be everything to do with making multiple output Ultrabeat kits. So um, I want to begin like this. Most beginners to Logic, let's start from scratch, they're going to start with a new project and they're going to say to themselves, OK, I'll make a new project. I want to begin with a drum machine making a beat, so I'll choose a software instrument track to start with. And then most beginners, what they will do is they will then create their instrument track, go to the library and in the library they see this category drum machines so the beginner says to themselves well here are all my drum machines so I'll choose one of these and begin making my beat but these are not your drum machines okay these drum machines in the library like all instruments in the library they are channel strip presets and a channel strip preset is a combination of instrument and mix that loads all together. So every single one of these drum machines in the library is actually a channel strip preset and they are all summing track stacks like that that can be compacted and expanded. Every single one of them is a, is a summing track stack channel strip preset. So if we choose one such as this dub smash and we look at it in the mixer, what we're actually loading is we're loading an ultra beat plus a bunch of separate outputs all set up specific drum voices have been assigned to those outputs and then effects processes have been applied to the outputs send and return effects have been included often EQ will be included etc so it's a complete drum mix that you're loading based around an ultra beat instrument all right that's what these drum machines are in the library but these are not your drum machines I'll show you where they are we'll start with a fresh project again we'll have a software instrument track because we do want to run a drum machine an ultra beat but we don't go to the library okay we just go to the inspector column here and on the channel strip here for the selected instrument track we find the instrument slot and this is where you install raw instruments onto an instrument track. Okay? And we drill down the list and we find an ultra beat. And we can load a stereo or multi out ultra beat. We're going to begin with just a basic stereo ultra beat. And we load our ultra beat here. And this is where you load any instrument raw into an instrument track. And this is completely different to loading an instrument from the library. Okay? When you load an instrument here, you load the raw instrument. When you load an instrument from the library, you're loading a combination of instrument and mix. So we load our stereo ultra beat like that, boom. And when we load an ultra beat raw onto an instrument track like this, it always loads up with this factory default kit, unless you've changed your default kit. And this is a completely synthesized kit. It uses no samples at all. And that's part of the beauty of ultra beat. It is a synthesizer and it will do drum synthesis. It will do all your old analog drum sounds and much more besides. Okay, so at the top of the ultra beat, we drop down this settings list thing, and here are your drum kits. These are your drum kits here, and look how many there are. There is absolutely tons, and every single one of these is a completely different kit with completely different sounds. So these are your drum machines. All right. Okay, so let's start by just quickly looking at the basic layout of Ultrabeat and then we'll move on to the first chapter, the sequencer. Um, Ultrabeat is divided into three sections. On the left here you have the vertical voices column. Each one of these sound slots is referred to as a voice because they don't have to be drums, they can be synth or bass sounds, they can be loops, you know, so they're called voices. And there are 25 voices in total, numbered 1 to 25. These voices all conform to general MIDI GM drum protocol for the MIDI notes. So the very first voice, which is normally the kick, 
is on C1 and then each voice works up in semitones C sharp 1, D1, D sharp 1, E1 etc working up to the 25th voice which is on C3 and you can audition any voice by clicking these silver piano keys next to the titles Okay. now every voice slot has a title which you can double click and rename there's a blue slider which is the volume control for that voice alt left click to reset there is a mute and solo button for the voice there is also a pan control and again it's alt left click to reset and recenter the pan and then finally on the right where currently you can see every voice says main this is where you drop down a list and assign a separate output for any voice and you can see there is one two three four five six seven eight stereo separate outs you can assign to remember the main output is always output one two the main stereo left right out and there's a further eight mono outputs you can assign voices to and we'll get into all this when we look at uh, multiple out ultra beat in the third chapter so that's a voice slot and finally next to some of the voices you'll see there's an SQ in the row and that just means that these voices have got a sequence for that voice in the currently selected pattern this is the pattern list here okay so these are your voices and at the very top there is a main volume slider which controls the main left right output volume of the ultra beat okay one other thing to note is that the 25th voice up here can be played chromatically from a keyboard from the note C3 which is its bass note upwards to the top of your keyboard but we'll come to that in the sequence of part of the tutorial so these are all your voices in a kit okay now when you select a voice it becomes highlighted the center section of ultrabeat shows the synthesis and any samples for the current selected voice and the Roland TR style sequence along the bottom shows the sequence for the current voice in the current pattern that you're working on so this is the synthesis for the pedal hat this is the sequence for the pedal hat this is the synthesis for the closed hat this is the sequence for the closed hat this is the synthesis for the rim shot and the sequence for the rim shot and this is the kick drum synthesis and this is its sequence down the bottom here okay, so it works like that on a per voice basis and finally there's a full view button down on the bottom right if you click that it turns the center area into a full-blown sequencer grid all right so that's how ultra beat is laid out um so let's move on with the tutorial